If I flash out a face one of you bitches, she come and get me out of jail. So yeah, shout out to one of them. Come get me bail for one. She stamped. Um, you know, whoever, you know, hating on or whatever, she come and get me. She say, you face something, I'm come and get you. So. What's happening, fam? Like, how y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? Once again, if you finna go out and turn up for this here Sabbath, make sure you stay safe. Stay out the way, man. Keep away from the conflict. For my fellas, man, hey, go out and enjoy some feminine company and as for the ladies keep doing y'all you know stay beautiful and all that good stuff there go flaunt your queen stuff and bust that thing down for a real one you feel me on the coat <laughs> hey but y'all know man we got a few things to talk about and most importantly we got to talk about the bleeders on the coat a little bit of review you know a few things that went on that we haven't quite covered but uh we gonna get that up out the way so before we get started make sure you like comment subscribe ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on all that way you will be notified every time we drop a video what your feet as you come in the door y'all already know how they go family five thousand dollar persian rugs you hear me and we finna cook so without further ado let's get to it believe it and off the rip we got that man called bleeder and y'all know how the bleeder get man hey he dropped his new song and I got highly disrespectful towards the opposition. Y'all check this out. And next up, we got that man Ruger Rudy. As Ruger Rudy, man, has some situations going on and whatnot. Baton Rouge, LA, WFAB detectives with the Baton Rouge Police Department are searching for a man wanted on multiple drug charges. Nepton Hartfield Jr., 24, is wanted on the following charges. Distribution slash possession with the intent to distribute Schedule 2, CDS, illegal carrying of a weapon, crime of CDS, aggravated flight from an officer, resisting an officer, aggravated criminal damage to property, two counts, possession of Schedule 1, illegal carrying of uh, weapons, stop signs and yield signs, reckless operations of a vehicle, and driving on a roadway laned for traffic. Hartfield is described as being five foot nine and weighing around 155 pounds. So y'all see that man Ruger Rudy has a lot going on and that's his name right there, Neptune Hartfield Jr. He has a lot going on, man. Um, being a wanted man right now and i know that's got to be ugly especially with his career on the rise ever since he's gotten out he's been taking off he's been doing what he needs to do to keep his foot on the gas as far as his music career and it's just unfortunate that you know now it seems that it's going to get a uh, setback because of this situation man and as of right now ruga rudy has been on a run right now. As you see in this post, he said, couldn't complain about the hand I was dealt. I played the cards how it go. A little picture where he's standing in front of a cop car out in Miami. Speaking of Miami, he's been posting all kind of videos and clips from out there in Miami. And it seemed like he'd been out there for a little second now, like a little week and a half or whatever. And doesn't seem to uh, be leaving anytime soon, man. 
Now, honestly, man, that only makes the situation worse. Like I said, it only makes the situation worse. You know, you anger the judge and prosecutor whenever you run. And not to mention the fact that they're going to schedule a second court date without you knowing. Knowing that you didn't show up to the first one when you were on the run. If it was a failure to appear, which it seems like these are old charges that they're bringing back up on him. So most likely it was a failure to appear situation. They doubled the charges. Well, they schedule another court date without you knowing if you run too long. And now it slaps on another bench warrant and another charge, man. It just be crazy game these people like to play. But like I said, man, you know, it's hard for him to want to walk away from that life, man. When you get a taste of the good life flying out to Miami, doing whatever you whatever you want to do, stuff that you never could do in life. It's hard to say goodbye to that and turn yourself in, not knowing what is to come, especially with stuff being so funky, allegedly. So your main breadwinner could get taken out at any given time. And it could all be ripped away from you. You know what I'm saying? Lord forbid. Lord forbid. May, may that not happen. We definitely don't want that to happen at all. You know what I'm saying? So don't let me put that out there in the atmosphere like that. But I'm just speaking hypothetically. You feel me? So I understand, man. I, I get it. This is a lifestyle that you've never been a part of. You get to enjoy life now. You don't got to worry about struggling or how to pay the bills or how to look out for your peoples. Everything is easier now because you got some change. You know what I'm saying? You can go out to Miami. Look at them uh, grade of women. Hey, it's hard to walk away from that and turn yourself in, man. But you got to do what you got to do as a man. You know what I'm saying? To get this off your back, come back, minor setback for a major comeback. And you know what it is on the cool. But y'all see he out there turned up with Harley Kent and TG Comics. Show him how to do an OP. Chop rock like the no. The remote don't want to work for me to play my music, man. The coach is showing how to do an OP drop right now. I'm just like, I'm really raw. I'm really f***ing though. Yeah. I'm gonna gain about 20 more pounds, you hear me? I'm gonna be about 180. Big, big old nigga. Big old bag. You hear me? I don't even know what's going on. And it's really a blessing to still be, you know, doing what I'm doing, cause a lot of my people dead are in jail, so. I can't do nothing but thank the Lord on live, you know? Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. Diamonds on me shining, you hear me? I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just living. And it's a blessing. And I f with everybody who f with me. And if you don't f with me, f yeah. It's all good. When you see me, salute me, bro. That's just how that's going. It's a blessing, man. I was in LA when Kobe died. I just turned 24, man. I was in LA when Kobe died. Thanks. It's just, it's just meant for me, you know, for to see the two four anyway. I might go jump on the helicopter today. If y'all tell me go jump on that, we going to jump on that. Man, we doing that for Kobe, man. Two four. Y'all see, man, it's a live right here from TG Comments, man. He was turned up on his 24th birthday talking about Kobe, getting on the chopper and all that good stuff there. Then also talked about knocking something down and getting bonded out by his bondsman, man. He started to turn up even more and really, uh, yeah, sending a message, you feel me? Yeah, check this out. Don't ask me why I got this glove on. Hey, shout out to Winner, man. Come get me bell buns. Shout out, shout, she, you know, she she come and get a bro. It's my birthday, if I flash out a face one of you come and get me out of jail. So yeah, shout out to Winner, come get me bell buns, she stamped. You hear me? You know, whoever, you know, hating on or whatever, she come and get me. And she say, you face something on your birthday, I'm coming get you. So, it's like that. Straight up. For all my people out there back on there, all my people. And it's, it's a blessing to be here today. You know, I can't do nothing but thank God. You know? I just got off the phone with my babies too. 
They told me happy birthday. I love my little babies. No, nigga, ain't gonna flash out. I'm just saying, though, if a nigga make me flash out, I'm coming home. Yeah. I'm coming home. I ain't trying to do nothing but get some money to take care of my people. Um, I've been doing this shit since 15, 14. Been paying bills, taking care of shit. I ain't trying to do nothing but get some money to take care of my people, man. Yeah. Oh, it's a blessing, man. I ain't gonna flash out. I'm just saying if I do, I'm coming home, man. That's what I'm telling you. If I do flash, I'm coming home, bro. Don't fuck with me, bro. I'm gonna face you and come home, man. Beat the charge on the street, man. Don't fuck with me, bro. Real talk. That's all I'm saying, bro. I'm gonna pop you and I'm coming home, man. That's all I'm saying. Run up on me playing, think I'm capping, I'ma pop you, I'ma show you. I'ma show you on my birthday. Yeah. I'ma show you. I'ma show you, I'ma pop you and come home. I I go live with her right now. She gonna tell you I'm coming home. If I got a bun, I'm coming home, man. Don't fuck with me on my birthday, bro. Pop. You. Real talk. Y'all see these bitches right here though? I wouldn't deal with this bit. I'm coming home, man. I'm coming home, but don't don't f with me. I just got off the phone with the bill boys, but I'm coming home, man. Thank us again. Thanks again, man. Oh, sticks. Man, I'm in Miami, man. What up? Come pull up, come fuck with me. Hey, hey, I need all my people that fuck with me. I need y'all to pick out all the dick riders in the comments that saying some hate. And yeah, just get on that for me. I ain't got the energy. But get on that. Tell them, eat a nigga head. Oh, no. Let me chill out. They probably got some old people on here. Some people I need to, you know, just be respectful. They on my live, but still, though. Ain't nobody in jail. We were just saying, you know, shout out to come get me bail bonds. My people. She let me know. If I fuck over one of you, I'm coming home. Simple. No questions asked. So, don't fuck with me, bro.